It was one of those two o'clock in the morning calls. Looked like everything was coming just fine, Doc, but then he got stuck. Could you come? On the way out to the ranch, I put the truck on autopilot while my foggy brain sifted through the possibilities. Hip lock, more than likely, I figured. I walked into the cabin barn, shook the snow off my coat, and surveyed the scene. Two unshaven cowboys playing cards in front of the space heater and a good-sized heifer standing in the chute, looking no worse for wear. I peeled off my coveralls and went to survey the battlefield. There, underneath the heifer's cocktail peering out at the new world was Bentley, the baby bull calf. All I could see was his nose and ears. With Mama's help, he'd gone far enough to pop his nose and ears out, but no further. He didn't seem in distress, just, uh, just a little embarrassed. He looked like some trophy hunter's prize hanging on the den wall. Since the umbilical cord had not broken yet, he had no need to breathe, but he was looking around like a kid in a neck brace at the county fair. After my examination, I concluded he had one front leg in the birth canal and the other pointing straight back. He was wedged in tight as a new hat band. Bentley, I said, I hope you brought your scuba gear because you gotta go back inside. I gave the heifer an epidural injection so she couldn't strain. I put my hand over his nose and started to push. Bentley raised an eyebrow. He looked up at me and said, are you sure you got a license to do this? Of course, I said. I bought it from a guy in Iowa when he sold out his practice. Well, it wasn't easy. I popped the little duffer back in, straightened his legs, and pulled him into the outside world. He was typically ungrateful as I rubbed him down and pointed him to the breakfast nook under Mama's flank. He turned once, looked at me, and said, I've heard of being born again. But this is ridiculous. This is Baxter Black from out there. <laughs>